In this video, we will explore the vital principles of data analysis and the diverse sources responsible for generating this data. These sources encompass social media platforms, the pharmaceutical industry, medicine and e-commerce platforms. Furthermore, we will illustrate these concepts with tangible examples of datasets, various visualisation techniques and interpretations. Data analysis involves a significant initial phase which is called data pre-processing or data cleaning. This stage is essential, even though it might seem time-consuming. Neglecting this phase can severely impact the accuracy of your analysis. When you meticulously clean and manipulate your data at the start of your analysis, the downstream processes are positively affected, resulting in better performance and insights. It's critical to emphasize this point because some individuals skip the pre-processing stage and jump straight into model prediction and analysis, which is a mistake. Always ensure your data is ready for the main processing. The primary goal of data analysis is to uncover useful information, form conclusions and support decision-making. Through data analysis, we aim to gain a deeper understanding of the data at hand. As we all know, Data are characteristics that are collected through observation or measurement and, to effectively analyse data, it's essential to understand the types of data you'll encounter. Data can broadly be categorised into two types, categorical and numerical. You'll learn which methods are best suited for visualising or summarising these types of data. As I have already mentioned, data analysis is the process of inspecting data, cleaning it, and transforming it to be prepared for modelling and prediction. This process allows us to discover useful information, draw conclusions and make informed decisions. Data analysis and visualisation encompass several key components, including data collection and assembly, data pre-processing, model construction and model validation. These components are interconnected and improvements can be made at any stage of the process. Data visualisation is a critical aspect of data analysis. It includes various techniques like scatter plots, heat maps, histograms and 3D visualisations. Visualisations provide a more intuitive way to understand complex data patterns. Data can be sourced from various places, such as social media platforms with billions of users, the pharmaceutical industry and medicine, e-commerce platforms and more. The volume of data generated in these fields is immense and offers valuable insights. In the context of big data analysis, the scale of data is immense, often exceeding the capacity of traditional data processing methods. Analyzing big data involves extracting valuable insights from large and complex data sets, which may include structured and unstructured data from various sources. This process requires specialized tools and techniques to process store and interpret the vast amounts of information, facilitating data-driven decision-making and uncovering hidden patterns and trends. In data analysis, two primary data types are numerical and categorical. Numerical data comprises measurable quantities and includes attributes like age, weight and income. For instance, in medical research, numerical data could involve patient age, blood pressure readings or cholesterol levels, enabling statistical analysis to identify trends and correlations. Categorical data, on the other hand, represents non-numeric categories or labels. In e-commerce, this could involve product categories like electronics, apparel or home decor. Categorical data is valuable for segmentation, allowing businesses to understand customer preferences, tailor marketing strategies and improve product recommendations. Analyzing both numerical and categorical data is essential for a comprehensive understanding of real-world phenomena. Now, let's have a look at some examples of data and dataset in different applications. The UK Food Consumption Dataset is a comprehensive collection featuring 17 distinct food categories, each serving as individual features. These features quantify the consumption of items such as alcoholic drinks, beverages, fresh fruit and so on in grams per person per week. 
This dataset was initially used for a detailed analysis of dietary preferences and public health research in the four countries of the United Kingdom, such as England, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales. In this dataset, these countries are considered as samples. The primary aim of an analysis on this dataset is to evaluate whether any of these countries exhibit significant differences in food consumption when compared to the others. Another example is the IRIS dataset, which is a well-known dataset in the field of machine learning and data analysis. It is often used as a benchmark for classification tasks and for learning various data analysis techniques. We will also use this dataset in a dimensionality reduction example later. Here's a comprehensive explanation of the IRIS dataset in terms of features, samples, labels and the characteristics of its three types of IRIS flowers. The IRIS dataset consists of four features, which are also referred to as attributes or measurements. These features are numerical and represent different parts of the iris flowers. The four features in centimetres are sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal, width. The samples in the iris dataset are individual data points, each representing a single iris flower. There are a total of 150 samples in the dataset. Each sample corresponds to a unique iris flower. The labels in the iris dataset represent the species of the iris flowers. There are three different species of iris flowers in the dataset, and each sample is associated with one of these species. The three species or classes are Iris setosa, Iris versicolor, Iris virginica. Let's have a look at the characteristics of the three types of iris. Iris setosa is known for its small size and distinctive features. It typically has shorter sepal and petal lengths compared to the other two species. It has a characteristic colour pattern. Iris versicolor has medium-sized sepals and petals. It is known for its bluish to purple appearance. It's distinct from Iris setosa and Iris virginica due to its specific coloration and size. Iris virginica is the largest of the three species. It has long sepals and petals and is generally characterized by its size. It can be distinguished from the other species by its relatively larger measurements. The Iris dataset is frequently used to practice classification algorithms as the goal is to predict the species label of iris flowers based on the four numerical features. It serves as a fundamental dataset in the field of machine learning and data analysis and helps researchers and practitioners understand the concepts of data exploration, classification and model evaluation.